This video is an overview of Monitor Defibrillator D700. Here is the front panel of D700, centering on the central LCD monitor. On the left, there are hotkeys. The main purpose of the hotkeys are to provide users convenience. There are patient type button which can switch patient mode from adult, pediatric, and neonatal. It also changes alarm limits and energy setting when changing the mode from pediatric to adult mode and vice versa for defibrillation and AD mode. ECG lead button selects lead to display the first ECG waveform on the screen. ECG side button selects to display the amplitude of an ECG waveform. Press the print button for a continuous printout of the primary ECG and other selected waves with event annotations and measurements. Moving on to the right side, there are buttons related to defibrillation. Each defibrillation button is color-coded according to the defibrillation stage, which increases the user's visual convenience. Mode selection knob selects four modes of operation, AD, manual, monitor, pacing. Just turn it to the desired mode of operation. For example, by turning the knob to AD mode, it instructs step-by-step -step through audio and visual. By turning the knob to pacing mode, the device can deliver pace pulses in either demand mode or fixed mode. In demand mode, the device only delivers pace pulses when the patient's heart rate is lower than the selected pacing rate. In fixed mode, the device delivers pace pulses at the selected rate. The monitor mode, full range of monitoring options available, including 3, 5, 12 lead ECG, SpO2, NIBP, IBP, temperature, and ETCO2. Turning to our last mode, the manual mode. There are operating mode, instruction message, contact indicator, number of shock, energy level, and sync mode display. To select the energy setting, press the energy level button and rotate the multifunction knob to the desired energy level. Energy choices range from one to 200 joules. To choose higher value than 200 joules, enter this service menu. The energy level can be pushed up to 360 joules by entering the service setting mode. To charge the energy, press the charge button. If using external paddles, the charge buttons on the paddle or on the front panel can be used. When completing the charge, the charge indicator of the paddle turns red. To shock the energy, there are two ways. Press the shock button which is placed on the front side of the device. Second, Press the shock button located on the external paddles. Analyze button operates the adversary mode which is provided to help determine whether defibrillation is carried out in manual mode. Sync button selects sync or async mode which can be applied directly making it more convenient for users. Below that there are alarm and event button. Alarm button pauses the audible alarm temporarily. Event button selects and records event data. Lastly, this gray scale applies to every mode. User may change the color filter setting. By default, the screen is set to color, but it can also be set to black and white mode. When the device is used outdoors, visibility may be reduced due to the strong external light. Therefore, if you change the display setting to gray scale mode, you can switch the screen to black and white, which makes the visibility better than color and improves user convenience. At the bottom part of the front panel, there are soft keys, printer, speaker, and multifunction knob. Five soft key buttons that perform the function listed on the soft key label, which is right above. The button labels change according to the function you are performing. This is the multifunction knob. Press it and it displays the chosen category on the screen. You can scroll the knob clockwise or counterclockwise, select variety of parameters shown on the screen. Press it again to select the required item. If you have a numeric selection window open, turning the knob clockwise increases the numerical value. By turning it other way around, it decreases the value. Press it again to select that value. On the left panel, we begin with an option case which includes various parameter connectors. The device has two IBP connectors and an ETCO2 connector which the sensor we supply from Philips Healthcare. 
We also have two temperature connectors and an ECG connector. A brief explanation regarding the algorithm we use for ECG is that it's considered to be the best in class by cardiologists. Developed from University of Glasgow in UK, which includes signal processing, diagnostic interpretation of electrocardiograms from individuals of all ages and analysis of cardiac rhythm. It also has a leading clinical advantages and proven performance for STEMI analysis. A STEMI is a serious type of heart attack during which one of the heart's major arteries is blocked. After measuring ECG, the PQRST waveform shows up on the screen. By using this algorithm, we can find the abnormal movement of heart by seeing the segment of the waveform. An IBP connector is also a world-class module from a and Medical. Manufactured from 40 years of expertise, built in making the device more reliable and accurate in measuring. Lastly, we have the SBO2 connector, which for the sensor we use Nelcore or Mediana SBO2. As we go on to seeing the right part of the device, you can open this lid and there are two things. One is the connecting part of CPR feedback and the other is SD card insertion hole for SD cards which the card is used to the new system software and to load voice prompt data, also to download the trend data. The connector part is user-friendly designed so that the user can easily connect paddles or pads. When removing the connector, it can be removed by pressing the lever attached to the connector connection part. Also, this pads connector part is designed to be slightly inserted in the equipment so it can be protected from external shock. Crucial for patient's bed, the bed holder enables this device to be fixed on the patient's bed, enhancing convenience and usability to medical teams. InfoWare X is Mediana's wireless module for centering monitoring system. It's available in direct EMR integration without CMS using a variety of protocols. Bluetooth, LTE and Wi-Fi is available for InfoWare X. All vital signs are transmitted to the medical staffs in the hospital. 12 lead reports for 10 seconds and are transmitted to the medical staffs in hospital. The self-test result and the log files are transmitted to the biomedical engineer in hospital. If we look at the back side of the device, we have external paddles, dual batteries, DC power connector which connects to the external cradle for charging. The paddle is an assembled product which is intended to use for adult patient. Remove the plate of paddle for adult and there is the paddle for pediatric patient. D700 has a patient contact indicator with these icons to assist in achieving good patient contact. Orange or red lights indicate poor patient contact, while green lights indicates a good contact with the patient. When the contact indicator is set to on, the indicator bar and impedance measured from pads are displayed. Contact indicator can be set between on, off via service setting menu. Dual batteries can be used to power the device when AC power source is not available. The battery status icon appears on the screen when the device is on battery power. Dual battery system with automatic switching is possible. Each battery supports a minimum of 200 shocks and 5 hours of operating time. If you look at the back side of the D700 battery, there is a power gauge. So you can easily check how much battery power is left without turning on the device. The external DC power source can be a big help when transporting a patient to the hospital in an emergency case. Even though the dual batteries provide 5 hours of operating time for each, there can be a case when you don't have enough power to support and you may need the process of recharging the battery. Putting the device together, you can verify that the DC power input icon appears on the screen. Battery charging status is shown on the front panel of the device. When attaching the carrying bag for D700, it makes transportation more convenient, especially for emergency medical technicians. Also, it can be attached to the external cradle without having to separate it, which saves time when recharging. We can summarise D700 by three key points. We call it the three Fs, which is fully loaded monitor defibrillator, friendly user interface, for anywhere. 
As a fully loaded monitor defibrillator, it has all the functions that it needs. It uses advanced biphasic technology which can deliver up to 360 joules. It has an all-in-one defibrillation mode including manual, AD, pacing, monitor, synchronized cardioversion, internal defibrillation. For 12 lead ECG monitoring, we use Glasgow algorithm. Second key point, friendly user interface by using hotkeys and soft keys. It makes users easy to control the device. Also, operating external paddles easily builds up convenience for users. Lastly, for anywhere. The device can be used anywhere, including hospital markets, emergency market and ambulances. For ambulance, ambulance holder enhances usability by applying external DC and AC adapter and cradle. For hospital, bed holder function enables patient bed to be fixed.